Um, I'm like, with this laser, I am able to attract the socks off of all of your feet. Now, you will have to walk around with musty, disgusting feet. How do you counter that, hero? I'm gonna cover myself in sh- I'm gonna roll around and cow I'm gonna run at you. Oh my god, BB! No, 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 I am going to throw sh- at you all day. <laughs> I'm going to make sure your life is living hell. Every day when you wake up, you're going to have a Slurpee filled with poop. There's going to be little nuggets inside of your straw. Oh, That's geez. disgusting. That's disgusting. Like for my first plan as a supervillain, I am going to detect everybody that is wearing socks. And I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to initiate flame mode. <laughs> and you're going to spontaneously combust. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take off my socks now. You deserve that for yesterday and your disgusting, sopping wet feet. You left those socks on for 10 minutes. I stepped in ice oh. and I didn't even realize the ice was there. And by the time it melted, that's when I noticed. I'm like, okay, jungle rot. Slow your roll. I'm sorry, that was me. Yeah, fuck you and those people who made fun of me for wearing socks. <laughs> you asked if it was a super villain thing. And then you didn't like the answer when everybody like freaked out. <laughs> I wanted to know the answer. I was wearing wet socks for like a minute. Not for like 10 minutes. Oh, I did wear socks for 10 minutes. Not wet socks. They were wet for like one minute. You were like, oh, common internet thread about being a psychopath. My feet are wet. Does that say anything about me? Oh, well. Hello, Mr. Wet's having socks. Got you are a villain. You are a villain. Let's just get that straight. Oh, derp. I think, I think that was already known. Derp is just like, since my socks are wet, everybody's socks are wet. Except it's not going to be water. It's going to be p- and I'm like, no, no. You said it was gonna be pink. Oh no. I do not What's know. What's really super villain is it's not pink. And it's not water either. Blood. Nope. You can't get much grosser than that. Derp, derp. I didn't yeah, like how you yeah. went silent. I said you can't get much grosser than that. <laughs> well. No, no, I know something was was. I could just go into a teenager's room and get the sock hidden under the bed sheet. Stop! Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Why? You are a super villain. Should I be terrified? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh what should I do? Should I I, I don't know anymore. I, I do not know. Oh man. Uh, uh, I think we should move on from the intro. That was pretty disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the topic is peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Uh, um I'll, uh, I did get peer pressured into doing a lot of no, stuff. No, you're supposed to do <laughs> You're supposed to do the pressure, the peer pressure. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. <laughs> peer pressure. I'm bad at that. Uh, ah. Um, hey, you want to do I have the good shit. Oh, no. I'm bending it. I have the Joking. good from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree? The cheap stuff? Ew. Yeah, the Dollar Tree Five. has the best good cut. Oh, my God. Well, anyways, can I peer pressure you into doing the last with me? I don't want to do it alone because I'm a pussy. Angel's the only one I want to let live. I gotta kill this super villain. Then why me? Why you? Why you? Oh my goodness! Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I got. I'm out for blood. I should feel flattered. Why is that? Because you're coming after me because I'm a villain. You're a blood Actually, villain. Actually, no, I'm not a blood villain. I'm not technically a blood villain. All of your blood crimes. Hey, Angel, would you like to join my gang? It's the Derp hunting gang. It's the Derp and BB hunting gang. Uh, I don't think Angel is willing to actually hunt me down. No. <laughs> Wait, which topic are we on? <laughs> we're, still, we're still doing peer pressure. Peer pressure, right. Yeah, I'm peer pressuring you. Angel, this is for the right. This is for the This is for the good of society. We must take out all derps and all BBs. All of them. Okay. They've committed atrocities against everyone. I have not. Not against everyone. I'm working my way up, though. See, he's willing to take... He's going to commit atrocities against you. You hear that? That's the type of guy that he is. Come on, Angel. Join. Uh, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she wants to kill me. I do. You want to kill me? <laughs> At the moment, yes. I don't know what it is that sent me over the edge. Maybe it was the cr- the crunchy sock. I don't freaking know, dog. The crunchy sock. Oh, no. See, slight issue with that. They ain't going to be crunchy. They ain't going to be expired. Uh, expired? No, Ew. they're not going to be expired. They're going to be fresh. Fresh? <laughs> fresh? Ew! What the? F- <laughs> I'm, I'm really <laughs> gross. 
No, no. Bro's gonna give us a fresh wet sock. Ew, no. <laughs> Directly inserted on his foot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ugh. Oh my God, I'm getting sick. Who said it was the foot though? <laughs> Who said it was the foot? Go, go, go. Ew, no. Stop. Again, this is, this is all just fun and games for the podcast. I'm not actually gonna do this. I'm gonna riot, bro. <laughs> So You're not disgusting. actually gonna kill me, are you? Maybe. I don't know. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm scared now. Just, just take me out of my misery. All right, let's move on to the next one. Question Have okay. you ever bullied or peer pressured something into doing something dangerous or illegal? Just now. Uh, yeah. Just now. Yeah. Just now. That's yeah. like my typical Wednesday, uh -huh. right? Every week. Every week I put. <laughs> I have. I have not lied. I have not. Ugh. Jeez. I actually peer pressured um, my foster siblings, and we did something dangerous and illegal. Ooh. So, uh, when I was in foster care, um, I was hanging out with these, my foster siblings, let's just say that. And we went to go to a water tower, and I was like, we should go to the top of this water tower and take some pictures, because that would be really cool. And they were like, no, we shouldn't, it's dangerous, and blah, 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 we'll get arrested. It was like 2 a.m. We went to the water tower in our neighborhood and we broke in. We went through the fence because it was a really easy to get through fence. And I was going to climb it. And then I hid because I saw that there's security cars. She refused to move and they saw her. She was just like a deer in the headlights. She refused to move and, and, and scatter behind the thing. And then they circled around and she was still frozen. Five whole minutes, she was just standing there where they could see her. And they'd circled around and they saw her again. And they went in there and they shined a flashlight. They're like, hey, what are you doing back there? And a different foster sibling of mine like ran and I stay hidden. And I was just like, why? Why did you do that? We could have climbed to the top. She's like, I'm scared. So then we rode in the back of that like a uh, neighborhood patrol car. And and they they had they they went in and talked to my foster mom about it. We would have contacted the actual police and got her arrested, but they look so young. We don't want to ruin their lives and blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm like, what the frick? I was I was mad at her. I still to this day I'm like, why did she freeze like that? It wasn't the most dangerous things, mind you. These these water towers were ground water towers. They were just the the round ones with a ladder to the top that are flat at the top, only 20 feet tall. The houses in the neighborhood were taller. Yeah, she's she's being a little bit cowardly. I don't know. I have peer pressured someone into doing something once, and it was to make them steal with me. Are you serious? Steal. Yeah. I got them to um, help me steal from school, which really wasn't that successful because we only just stole paper. You only stole gum? Paper. Paper? Yeah, I wanted to steal from the teachers. You stole paper? Derp, you're going to make me cry because I'm imagining you spending life in prison without parole. You're stealing paper. Oh, paper. Oh my god, that's funny. Derp, stop. <laughs> yeah, it was a habit of mine to like peer pressure people when I was younger. Because, I don't know, I was a bad person. Yeah, you're like, yeah, that makes sense. You're bad. That checks out. You seem like you would have been a, a hellish person to deal with in, in adolescence. So, was, yeah, yeah, I was. I peer pressured people into like joining me in a snowball fight. Aww. And then I obliterated them. Ah, oh, leading in your enemies into a trap. Good. I had like... No snowballs planned. I just wanted to play and they packed the snow very light and then I packed it pretty tight and then I threw it at them and they went, Ow! I don't like this! <laughs> and I was just like, join me, you coward! And they got so scared. They're like, oh my god! And I'm like throwing snowballs at them, left and right, just slinging. I'd like grab it, pack it really quick and just... Poof. And they're just like, Ow! You're scaring me! They weren't even my friends. They were random kids in my neighborhood. You had an egg in a snowball and throw it, the egg will burst open as soon as it hits them. Would it if though? If you throw it hard enough. Are you talking about a hard boiled egg? It could be hard boiled, could be raw. That's gross. That's really gross. I'm just imagining somebody throwing a snowball at me and then an egg bursts open on my head. I would kill you. Like, no lie, I would kill you if you did that. There's more times I've bullied someone and peer pressured them into doing stupid shit. So I kind of just paid them like 10 bucks to jump off a roof with me. Oh, uh, great. Well, I, I'm not sure if this counts, but not too long ago, it wasn't a bullying thing. It was just, I had a lot of energy and then I got peer pressured to run around the house. Oh, I know that story. Wait, was that you? Did you peer pressure her to do that? No, no, no. I was there in the conversation. <laughs> yeah. So she did run around the house because someone peer pressured her to do it. Somebody meaning BB and Derp? I know the exact conversation. I kind of don't want to repeat it. 
yeah, no, I would actually say what he said to me, but I remember exactly. I guess that counts. I mean, I do peer pressure you into joining the podcast. You're like, no, that's not peer pressure, Gup Gup. I actually want to be here. You hear that? But you peer pressuring me to stay here and uh, keep joking around. Yeah, no, it's not like you're in fear of your life and I have a to the back of your head. What? Yeah, I, I don't have a gun to the back of my head. And what I said earlier about um the socks, that was totally me saying that free will. Oh my god, I have no reason to doubt that. I'm totally not following the script that Gub sent me. Uh, cut, what? director, cut. <laughs> cut, director, <laughs> cut. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to follow the rules. I'm being held here against my will. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm I'm here. Free will. This is my place. I'm not reading off a script. I'm not reading off to a screen. You're like, help me! Help me! Help me! I'm totally not signing help. I'm totally not trying to write help in sign language. Oh, let's move on to the next topic. Vandalism. Uh... Vandalism. Okay, so I did raid a server once. I, me and a bunch of friends we decided to just join a random person's Discord server. I forgot what the Discord was about. But we joined it and just spammed a bunch of memes. Oh, jeez. We didn't get banned. We actually just left because we were bored with the server. I did vandalize the server, technically. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that the people that are just, like, putting a ton of memes in my server are actually trying to raid it? That's really unfortunate. I didn't know that. Now I want to cry because I thought I had a bunch of people joining that just wanted to join that genuinely enjoyed my company. I mean, they might. All right. So I actually have vandalized a lot of stuff. Gup Gup the vandal of people's property. Gup Gup the ca- When I was in school, it was my first year, I started writing on the desk. It was pencil, not pen. The teacher was like being really rude, really, really rude and combative about certain things. And it upset me. So I started like writing insults to the teacher on my desk and then I erased them. And then I drew a little anime picture. He goes, don't draw on the desks. These desks are really important to the school and they cost a lot of money. And I was like, it's just an anime face. He's just like, who cares? And I'm like, it's in pencil, see? And I went like this and it smudged off. He's like, I know you're probably the one that's been vandalizing this desk this whole time. I'm gonna see you after class. And then he checked my bag after the class was over to see if I had any pens in there. And I didn't because my parents couldn't afford them. He's like, where are you hiding the pen? Where are you hiding the pen? He started getting really cross with me. And I almost got sent home that day. That was the that was the crazy part because he thought that I was the one that was vandalizing the desk. But it wasn't me. Oh, damn. He caught him. It was a person from the class after me. Jeez. All right, let's move on to the next question. What's your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure? Um, I don't know, eating cheese. Cheese? A lot, of people give me weird, a lot of people give me weird looks for just eating a block of cheese. You eat a block of cheese? Not a oh, whole cool. block, but yeah. Not a whole block, but yeah, I do eat a block of cheese. You're for real. <laughs> uh, another guilty pleasure I have. People look down on me for it, but I know how to lock pick. And I still lock pick. I practice on locks, even though they're on my own Oh lock. yeah, that is a guilty pleasure. That, because they think I'm going to break into the house. And I've actually seen some of my neighbors change their locks because of that. I had a guilty pleasure in chewing on plastic sometimes. Same. Chewing on plastic has feeling to it. I chew on plastic too. Gum just doesn't have the give that chewing on, I don't know, a Barbie doll arm does, you know? I, I've once eaten a whole Barbie arm. You ate ate it? I ate, ate it, yeah. I was chewing on plastic. Oh! I realized I could just tear off bits and pieces. I ate a whole <laughs> Polly Pocket. Well, not the whole thing. I ate a Polly Pocket. Microplastics, you mean macroplastics swimming around in my belly. <laughs> and then what about you? Do you have a guilty pleasure? Oh. She has a guilty pleasure of lying in secret. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, she lies in secret. She lies when she doesn't want to tell me something. She- what? I feel like you would like the smell of gasoline, Angel, or sniffing Sharpies. I'm pretty sure her sister does. <laughs> Actually... Speaking of that, her sister has a guilty pleasure of liking bacon, even though she says she doesn't. I don't like bacon. <laughs> Why are you bringing me into this? Wait, so I have... me. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I do have a guilty pleasure, both my sister and I do. We like to grab a stick while we're having a bonfire. We like to put the stick on fire and play with it. Do you guys, do you ever eat the burnt marshmallow? The marshmallow that's caught on fire? Because I, I feel guilty yeah. about doing that. We do. Oh my gosh, that 
I get judged hardcore. Somebody's yeah. just like, you're a psychopath. If you light the marshmallow on fire and let it burn until the fire goes out. I actually had a marshmallow fall into the fire pit and it fell on the ground, like in the ashes, and I ate it anyway. Another guilty pleasure I have, uh, I, I secretly eat Play-Doh. You secretly eat, eat Play-Doh. Topic, fights that you have sidelined. I sidelined, sidelined, what are you talking about? I am in the fight. You've act, like, blow for blow, let's hear this. Let's hear this, my guy. Wait, what? I've been in many fights. Really, that's just me being stupid and me arguing with pretty much everyone I meet. How many fights have you been in? Like, I'm, I'm gonna need, like, I'm gonna need some specifics on those fights. I need you to go, like, full anime, full action movie. Give it to me, give it to me, full bro. Full anime, full action movie. All right, so it started off as I was reading a book. Someone smacked the book out of my hand. I got pissed. So then I decided, f*** it, you're gonna die today. So I decided to grab my pencil, John Wick style, and I really didn't see him. You stabbed him? No, I was kidding. Oh, I was like, uh, what the so fuck? John Wick style, I started beating the crap out of this guy, full anime style. I went full weeb. You went full weeb. You were like, Aah! I have the power of God and anime chicks on my side. Oh my God, anime chicks. Just had to add that part. You're going to make me cry. You told me to make the fight anime style, so I did. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Embarrassing to admit, because that's just so cringy. But yeah, I shouted World Star and recorded on my shitty phone while someone was fighting. Isn't that exactly what they do with those World Star videos or whatever? They have yeah. like a really trash phone, trash angle, trash everything. They shout World Star and then they upload it. Doesn't the low quality make it like better? Yeah. I've been a hype man for a fight. I was like, hey, buddy. I, I kept cheering on my. I've been in quite a few fights. I remember I almost got into a fight with some guy, and by almost, I started throwing blows at him, but I couldn't hit him. Because apparently, he took nerd karate, and I couldn't hit him. I was so angry, because he had insulted me, and insulted my mom and my family, and I got really pissed off, so I started throwing punches at him, and I kept missing. It was oh so humiliating. God. You were like, you better catch these hands. And he just yeah, but he, <laughs> he literally dodged every one of my hits and I felt so freaking humiliated. I wanted to cry. To get, I, I actually started screaming at him. I'm like, let me punch you. You ever sidelined any fights, hate. Angel? I mean, I've had fights. Not anything where it's I punch anyone or anything so like that. So have had fights before, but nothing serious. What type of fights? Uh, Just yelling at each other, I guess. Verbal and passive aggressive arguments. Did you ever fart in the middle of your fight? Your really heated moment, you're screaming at each other, and then all of a sudden you hear a. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Actually, I yeah. A little squeaky one comes out. I was in a fight, yeah. and I really just needed to use the bathroom during the time. I was punched in the gut, and yeah, it was very embarrassing. I stopped the fight then and there. I was humiliated. Are you, are you like, it's insanely embarrassing to be fighting someone and then let out a suit just because they punched you <laughs> in the gut. <laughs> In the middle of the fart, I was fighting. The fight yeah, interrupted yeah, my yeah, fart. you gotta get it right. The fart took more precedence. <laughs> it ended the fight so fast. If I ever wanted to end a fight, all I have to do is just take a laxative and go, I'm gonna poop myself. I would be safe. If I go, I'm gonna poop myself! And then just poop myself. You know how to stop a fight really fast? You better catch <laughs> those hands, and then you just lick their f***ing palm. Ugh, oh, what the That's how you stop a fight. No, why? <laughs> that actually has happened to me before. I told them to catch these hands. I proceeded to try and fight them. They caught at my hands and decided to lick my hands. They licked your fingers? Did you start dating them afterwards? <laughs> no. That was a bad question. <laughs> I would lose it. I don't know. I would, I'd freaking lose it if somebody starts sucking on my fingers mid-fight. All right, next question. Have you ever broken or dislocated your fingers punching something or someone? I have not, but my brother has. He punched a wall because he was pissed. They didn't dislocate his finger, they dislocated his wrist. I actually was practicing punching a punching bag and I dislocated my fingers. I have actually sprained my fingers. Not broken or dislocated, I have actually sprained my fingers on a punching bag. Well, I do take karate, so I do do punches and stuff. Ever and broke your fingers on. doing that? No. You take karate and you're that timid? Oh. I, I took karate for two reasons. One, because I thought uh, it was cool, I guess. And two, because I needed more confidence in myself. 
Karate is cool. You weren't wrong. Yeah. It is cool. There's reasons I there's took movies karate about it. Long ago. I'm thinking about it. I did actually knock back um one of the instructors by punching him. I didn't even mean to. He he said go, even though he wasn't ready. And he did sprain his ankle falling. I don't know if that counts. I've never really like knocked somebody back during a punch. I actually skinned my knuckles trying to like Anyways, um what's the next question? Willing to do list. Let me check my list off. All right. Find Gub, not checked. Uh, let's see. Get those crusty socks. <laughs> Sorry. It's disgusting. Take over the world, starting with Canada. Destroy all negativity, which would include myself at the end. What about you guys? I will insert lasers into my eyeballs and fry the retina of every Karen that I see. Now, I'm going to give them a tattoo. I'm just going to give them a tattoo on the back of their neck. Just a force tattoo? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Totally against their own will. It'll be a Karen tattoo that every single Karen has, like their cattle. Jesus Christ, Derp. That is some super villain stuff. Well, it's going to be a barcode, and it's going to lead to a Karen website. Derp, that's so much worse. Somehow. Angel, give me your villain to-do list. You're like, I will find every family that is horseless, and I will send a stampede of horses into their living room to trample all of them. That's just evil. Like, how are you going to put that burden on them? All right, I think oh we can God. move on to the next one. What is the most evil thing that you think is morally okay under certain circumstances? Well, obviously, murder. Like, if the child is endangered and CPS won't do sh kidnapping might be morally okay. If you're trying to protect the kid. But otherwise, it's evil. Uh, something else that is evil but morally okay. Running someone over. Uh, like that one video, I forget which server it's posted to, but uh, hitting the brakes. Where the hit is the one in the video. Do you remember that video? Yes, I was the one that posted it. I thought it was so funny. Sometimes that can be morally okay. Because you don't know who you're hitting. Well, if you do know. Stealing is okay. If you're trying to steal something back from somebody that stole from you. Um, oh, Robin Hood situation. Yeah, kind of. I feel like most crimes are acceptable under certain circumstances. Most crimes. Some of them are not. There's, sure. there's some that are just too heinous. You know what crimes we're talking about. I don't, I'm, I don't want to say it. Yeah. No matter what somebody else has done, even if you're getting back at someone, it's just don't dirty your hands with it. I'm pretty sure in some places it's actually legal for you to escape prison as long as you don't hurt anyone in the process. Mexico, I think. So I believe that it, that should be morally okay in other places. Like if you just did a small petty theft and you just get sent to jail for like a day, that should be morally okay if you just decide to escape your time anyways. Yeah, no, that's Why waste fine. tax dollars? But like Mer who has already served maybe 50 years, maybe you can try and escape then. I feel like the Mer should stay in prison. Maybe. The Mer should learn the lesson. Yeah, not get caught next time they do it. What lesson did we learn today? <laughs> Snitches get stitches. <laughs> we'll just go to the next topic. Fight team, your stats, plus four people of your choice. Oh my goodness, uh, I think I got agility. Like, I've gotten my agility and my endurance up pretty well. I know I'm not really strong, but I'm working on that. I got some good agility. I'm gonna get some hard, heavy hitters. So I'm gonna need somebody with like tank strength, even if they're not fast. Like, I'm, I'm going five miles an hour, which is my walk. That's that's my casual walk. I think I'm pretty, pretty decent with my agility. Like, I'm very fast. I'm good with dodging and weaving, and I got great endurance. I got this. I got this. Probably four other people that I'm going to go with. BB for tomfoolery, obviously. I need somebody that would, like, cause chaos on the field. They just do the craziest freaking thing that you can imagine. I would probably need a tank-style build. Uh, that would be, that'd be Josh. Josh would be the tank. And then I'd need some distance hitters. Somebody with a blicky. Maybe you. And then the last person and final fighter, Deanie. Deanie, Deanie is the secondary, like, DPS-style Borderline tank. I'd probably go with him. He's been a lot of fist fights. He actually has experience. <laughs> and he's crazy, so. Uh, fight team stats and four people of my choice. I'm gonna bring Potato, because he he can't actually hit, hit his shots. I know that. Um, I'm gonna bring Dini, because Dini, like you said, crazy, and I know he hits hard. I'm gonna bring BB so we can get, like, just a close range fight. Yeah, I feel like BB brings in the chaotic evil energy that we really need for that type of fight. Oh, jeez. It just be stuck people while you're in the background sh all right and i need one more person all right so probably my brother as like a tank unit i feel like he'd be a berserker i feel like he'd have both like a gun and use his fists 
He probably would, because that's his style of fighting in games. A berserker? Yeah, he likes to bring a berserker. He likes to bring a gun. During our play fights, because yes, we still have those, uh, he actually likes to wear a punching glove on one hand, and he holds a wooden stick like a sword in the other hand. Your brother does strike me as the berserker build. Like, his personality really fits that. I'm a dual wielder. Gub Gub is a dual wielder. That's that's my class, if you don't know that. Are you gonna dual wield? Yes, I'm a dual wield agility build. Swords, daggers. Daggers. Or gun. Either one, I'm a dual wielder. I've actually been practicing to throw with knives. I can hit a target, like, accurately, maybe 80% of the time. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know why I would need that skill. Okay, so my sister, Derp, I do BB and maybe DB as well. Yeah. It's so funny because all of us, the one thing that every one of us have in common is we Deanie. all picked BB and we all picked Deanie. We just know that they're crazy. That's the funny part. Yeah, that's because BB, I do doubt his knife skills because he just has one sitting on his desk and he likes to lick it. You're for real? He actually licks it? You've seen him do that. I've seen You're him lick his knife that sits on his desk. Ugh. I've seen him do that. That's really weird. So I very heavily doubt his knife skills. <laughs> But he is probably crazy enough that he would uh, attempt to win the fight. I feel like BB would have no problem with somebody. That's the difference between somebody with knife skills and somebody with, like, life skills. People are such, like, soft, squishy little suits. That's really all I have to say. All right. Yeah. Last question. You versus a 10-year-old in a cage fight. Would you win? This 10-year-old is trained in martial arts. Would you win in a cage fight against a 10-year-old that's trained in karate and MMA? And I'd say no for me. No. I've had my butt rocked by a 10 year old before and he wasn't even trained. It would depend for me. I don't know how fast he would be. You do realize you could just pick somebody up that's lighter than you, right? I know. Like their, I know, their punches only do so much. Now, to me, four foot is uh, not that big of a difference in height for you because you're like six foot. That's like a two foot difference. There's a huge difference between four foot and you, right? Yeah. To you, that's like half your height almost. Like they, they, they're substantially shorter than you. But to me, that's like shoulder height this person comes up to my shoulders they're gonna do some damage so i'm gonna say no i am not stupid enough to believe that i would win in a fight against a 10 year old that is trained in martial arts my money is on derp i think he could win it i think he'd get beat up a little bit but i think he'd win angel i'm, I'm not serious i'm serious i'm i don't think you'd win yeah no I, I it's fine i don't think so either even though you've been trained in karate i don't think that like a world champion 10 year old i don't think she has a heart for it to just hit a 10 year old? I do. They're going off against me. A fight is a fight. A fight is a fight is a fight is a fight. A champion's a champion. I might say I would win. Of course, like you said, I would probably get heavily beat up, but I, I do believe that I would still come out victorious. All right, this is a pretty good uh, podcast. <sighs> Let's do a little sign off. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you guys like what you saw, you can come back a couple weeks from now, where I'm going to be posting this every two weeks. I'm going to have some shorts, possibly, that are linking back to them. I do have the previous podcast. I'm sitting on some shorts, some happy little <laughs> delicious shorts. If you want to be a part of this podcast, you got to be 13 plus, have a decent mic, follow the rules, be a part of the Discord. Yeah, Thank you so much again, Angel. I know you're not feeling very good. I hope you're gonna no be problem. okay. No, I, I really hope yeah. you're gonna be okay. Yeah, I will. Don't worry about that. All right, everybody say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye everyone. Hope you enjoy.